all my target individuals. Welcome to the channel. I'm going to explain to you guys exactly why you are a targeted individual. And that is a simple fact. It's because you're special. And there's other targeted people in this world that aren't so special. But for a lot of you, you are. You bring something to this world. People want to target you because you got your head on straight, not because you don't. People want to target you because they see something in you that they don't have in their self. And it's clear as day to them. They want to take you out. They want to take you down. They do not want to see you continue to do what you do, to say the least. They see you. They recognize you and they don't want it to exist. They simply don't want you to exist. So they target you. They try to find ways that they can defeat you, get under your skin, do this, do that. Because you bring something special to this world. You're, you're doing something special in this world. You have a target on your back. And as for the other target individuals, the ones that do bad things, that puts a target on their back, because there is two types, whether you just want to believe it or not. There's some people that get targeted because of who they are and what they can do, the power they hold within their self, and people see it and simply don't want it to exist. And there's also the ones, like I said, that have a target on their back because of the bad things they've done to other people. Just as if you stole a lot of things from some place and you got caught on camera, you will have a target on your back because they're gonna come for you. They're looking for you. It makes sense, don't it? Or let's say if, if, if you murdered somebody in this world. You will then have a target on your back because of what you've done to somebody else. That makes you a targeted individual. But this video is mainly about the ones that are targeted for no good reason. You continue to do good. You continue to stand by your words. And people are just looking to take people like you out. It's just people that's looking to take you down. To stop your shine. To stop your growth. To stop you from doing what you're doing. Because they don't want it to exist. They can't stand who you've already become, let alone who you're going to become in the future. And it's unfair. But life is unfair. And that's just how it is and how it's how it's always going to be. So... You have, to continue, you have to continue to put your best foot forward and keep striving to be the best that you can be and block out all the negativity as much as humanly possible because they're going to try their hardest. There's going to be a lot of people that target you. I can do the littlest things and, and people just put a target on me, paint me out to be some, some type of bad person for standing by truth, for actually helping people in this world in a way that a lot of people can't. In a, in a way that a lot of people can't understand. Life is very deep if you think about it. And I live for the deep stuff in life. We're going balls deep all the time. Balls deep, bro. If it's not deep, I don't want it. <laughs> but the conversations that I seem to have with people over the phone, the likes of you guys, and also in person, in, in real life, with a few of my mates that I have. It's, it's an amazing time, because we go really deep. We understand life. We are awakened to this world. We are awakened to what's going on now. We are awakened 
as to what to do to make things better right now. We come up with ideas, we come up with plans, we talk, we conversate. I help so many of you over the phone on these calls. Some of you, it's a little hard, to, some of you, it's, it's tough talking to some of you, I'm not gonna lie. Every person's different. But with a lot of people, man, You want to talk with people who, who've been there, who've done that. There's nothing better because there's a lot, there's more, more people in this world have not. More people in this world are not awakened to actually how to do better in life. I just so happen to be obsessed with doing better in life because if you're not, there's a, there's a very high chance that you won't do better in life, that you will just be mediocre, that you will have to be a slave to the system. We don't want it to be this way. We don't want to be a slave to the system. We don't want to be victims. We have to outdo the system here, guys. We have to work around the system. We have to know how to maneuver. And you can't completely go against this system. If we could, we probably would. If I could, I know for a fact I would, but guess what? Let's say if I don't pay my taxes, I'm going to end up in jail. That can't happen. I think, personally, and a lot of people think this as well, almost everybody I speak with in fact think this as well, taxes for the most part is bullshit. Yes, we do got to pay some taxes, but for the amount we have to pay, overpaid bro, overpaid the amount of taxes that needs to be paid, coming out of our pockets, our hard earned money. And we gotta pay for people on welfare? We gotta pay we we gotta pay for people like that? Come on, man. Like what is going on, man? And <clears throat> I think we should have to pay some taxes, just not nearly as much as we do. That's just an example. It's bullshit. But the percentage that we have to pay. It shouldn't be any more than 10, 15% maximum, maximum 15%. But you got people paying 25, 30, 35, some people 40, like man, 40%, that's almost half your income that you make in a year. That is crazy. Your hard earned money, almost half it is going to other people and other things as well. But that's half your income almost. That is robbery in plain sight. They don't need that. They don't need that. And if you don't pay that, you go to jail. Wow, that's so fair. No, it's not fair at all. It's not fair at all. But look at what we're in. And that's just an example. Look at the gas prices. We have no control over that. You guys really believe gas prices has to be that high? No. We're getting ripped off. You guys think this year food, everything's gone up 10%. Not only food, add the hairdressers, hair salons, tanning beds, everything. Prices are just skyrocketing. Is it going to continue to do this every single year? We're gonna have to pay ten dollars for, for for a damn banana almost pretty soon. And I'm over exaggerating a little bit because I can right now realistically I can buy a whole rack of bananas for a dollar fifty, two dollars, two fifty max. Bananas are pretty good price right now. That's probably a bad example to use, but you guys get the point. A case of raspberries right now is $8.99 plus tax. That is not good, man. I refuse to buy raspberries at the moment because they are $8.99 plus tax. Could I buy it? Could I afford it? Hell yeah, I could, but guess what? I ain't buying that because it's not worth it. You put your money into things that is worth it. There's other things I can substitute with. Pineapple right now, watermelon right now, where I come from, is probably around the best price that you can get for fresh fruit which is what I'm doing, and bananas. Apples, iffy. But the fresh berries right now, as far as rab raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, things like that, price has gone way up. 
not good. Not good at all. So it's up to us to work around the system as much as possible and not be in the center of the system doing what they want us to do all the time. We have to do our best to work around it. Our best. I try to do what I can with taxes without getting in trouble. I try to do what I can, you know, with buying certain things, doing certain things. Because they're trying to set us up to fail right now. They really are. There's gonna be a there's gonna be a point in time where almost everybody in the world is a targeted individual. You could consider it right now. But some people are definitely targeted a lot more than others, and there's no mistake about that. You could consider everybody almost right now a targeted individual, but like I said, the real targeted individuals are actually targeted like heavily and intensely. Because not everybody is targeted intensely. So you guys get the point. Some of you just want to come with these smart comments and I get what you're saying, but you have to get what I'm saying and kind of not make those smart comments. I get it, but you got to get it too. But anyways, man, like <clears throat> you just got to do your best with where you're at, with what you've got. You got to do your best. You got to be smart. You got to make smart decisions. Not decisions that's going to come back to bite you right now. I know individuals, man, that's making terrible decisions. 19-year-olds, 18-year-olds where I come from. Buying brand new trucks that they cannot afford off the lot. Brand new 2021 trucks. We're talking about 90 to 100K trucks. Brand new. Brand new rims, brand new tires, brand new this, brand new that. And man, they cannot afford that. They don't even have a, they don't even have a consistent job. But they want to look cool. They want to look cool for people their age. They want to do this. They want to do that. And they're going a little bit reckless. And it's going to come back to bite them real hard. And it's not the smart thing to do right now at all. The smart thing to do right now is to learn as much as you can possibly learn. Stay awakened and make very smart decisions. Not stupid decisions like that. And that's just an example. It's time to be smart. It's time to move smart. Because the world is trying to, you know... Put us on hold. They're trying to break us down bit by bit. It's clear as day. Look, look at what they're doing. Look at the COVID, the restrictions. Look at all this stuff. What's next? What is next? Who knows? But we're going to find out. And by that time, we got to come back together, have conversations. And stick to our guns. We got to continue to work around the things we can work around. Whenever COVID first was going on, I kind of I, I tried to ignore it the best I could by pretending that it's not even really happening to continue to live my life because everything is is a distraction. All those things that the government does wants to put out there, and so many things in this world is a pure distraction. So it's up to us to really come together to make things right. Have these conversations. Know what to do, when to do it, know when to back off. Game plans exist for a reason. Every team has a game plan. People in sports have a game plan. Because if you don't, you're just looking to fail. And there's too many people in the world today that are not awakened to it, that are just moving recklessly, that are doing whatever they want. Not, not thinking long term at all. And they're going to pay a price. Because to see where the world's at now, to see where it's going, you have to move accordingly. Not, not necessarily to what is going on today, but you have to know what's going on, what's going to be going on in a year, two, three, four, five, ten from now. And move accordingly so you can have a better, more comfortable existence. And not be so stressed. And not be so down. And not be so behind on everything because you made bad decisions. Like you got nothing. You got virtually nothing because you made terrible decisions. So making smarter decisions is going to equal wins in the long run. 
it might look like people are winning right now. It might look like people are doing this and doing that. But guess what? They're going to be the ones that's losing in the end. For example, look at the people in high school. All the people that look like they were winning and stuff like this. Oh, they're so cool because they're acting this way. Look at them now. They peaked in high school. They're not doing so well now. I peaked after high school. I would still hang around with, you know, a few people, you know, like that. But I never fell into it. I never peaked. I just remained and allowed myself to be young and didn't care about those things. I peaked when the time was right. I peaked when I turned, coming on at the end of 18, started 19, I started to peak there. And then you work for some years and then you start to hit your prime. You do all the right things. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people peaked in high school too soon. They want to be cool too soon. They want to do this too soon. Made piss poor decisions too soon. And now look at them. They're not doing so hot. So you got to be smart in this world, man. You got to calm yourself down and really have these types of conversations or else you're doomed. I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the conversations that is that 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 takes place with me and a lot of you guys and my friends and, and people in real life. I don't even necessarily want to call them friends. It's more so it's like a family bond that will never be broken. I say that it is a friend. It is. But I say that because I changed my terms over the years of what I consider friends is all it is. And I've already mentioned this in videos. So I consider people family because you just know you have a bond with these certain people that it's never going to be broken. Like you guys, they're the type of person, you're the type of person that no drama is going to enter. No drama is going to happen. They have a good head on their shoulders. You got a good head on your shoulders. Nothing's ever going to break that. And those are the kind of people you want. Not the people who's going to be so quick to turn. Not the people who's going to get jealous of you. None of this. Too many of those people exist, man. You don't have a good head on your shoulders. You're overly emotional. You don't know what to do. Every little bit of success somebody else has, you're, you're just, you let it get to you. Like, man, come on. A lot of people on this channel want to turn because, you know, they could have agreed with literally 99% of the things I said, but the 1% of what they don't agree with, they're just going to turn, oh, you're a terrible person, bro. That's not how, that's not what a human being is. You can't even consider yourself a human being. You're just, I don't even know what to consider you, to be honest. You're just a loose cannon to me. So, and we would never, ever have any type of connection ever because you're not stable enough to actually be able to keep something going. But anyways, for my target individuals, once again, keep putting your best foot forward. Keep doing what you do best. Do not let the world bring you down. Do not let the world collapse on you. You work around the world. You do what you can with what you've got with where you are. You do your absolute best. Make the absolute best decisions that is in your best interest. And you should be fine. <clears throat> the world is not going to take it easy on you. A lot of people is not going to take it easy on you because they see you doing good. They see you doing better. That's why you got a target on your back. You have a target on your back for a reason. People want to know what you're up to. People want to know what you're doing. They want to know where you live, where you work, what you tried, who you're with, who, who's your friends, who's your girlfriend, where's your parents at now, where you live, what you drive, like all these things, man. Like, no. No, I'm not going to give you the right answers because you're not going to be on my ass. I live for freedom. I don't live for schmucks like you to be putting targets on my back to try to concave me into this little world that you're in. It is not going to happen. I'm going to blow your damn head off if you come anywhere close to me. And that's just the way it's going to be. You, you evade my space. You get away. You don't come too close. 
you don't have that type of behavior. You're not that person. You're a phony Montana, is what you are. And I know it, and it's why you'll never get a right answer from me. You can just tell with people, man. You can just tell. And I ain't with it. There's a lot of skeptical people in this world, and we all know this. You don't, you don't tell them shit. You don't tell these skeptical people much at all about yourself. Keep doing what you're doing. It doesn't matter what other people have to say. It doesn't matter what they have to do. Just keep doing what you're doing and do even better over time. It don't even matter that they're trying, that they're trying to target you, to be honest. I'm just trying to give you guys tips on what to do. And it's the truth. It's what you got to do. It works. These people will only do so much. They try to intimidate you. They try to push fear into you. They try to do all these things. And it's not going to work. You're too powerful now. You're too far ahead now. Too far ahead of the game. They can think whatever they want. They're going to find out pretty quick. That they really knew nothing the entire time. Because they're the same people that want to believe that they know. But they don't speak facts. They speak fiction. These people are the ones that don't live by facts. These are the people that live off what they want to believe about others. Which is how rumors are created. Which is how lies are spread. People can believe something about you and really think it's true. And they'll spread to other people when it's not even true. You know how many times this has happened? Not only to me, but to other people as well, to, to, to close ones that I know. People are ruthless in this world, man. That's why when they come around me, you better be careful. Because I'm going to see you for what you are. And you'd be lucky to not have your head blown off your shoulders. So, you better watch yourself. I know a snake when I see one, and you will get cut off. You'll be slithering real quick after that. You'll be wiggling around, still half alive, and then boom, I'll finish you. So, watch out for these people. If you are a target individual and you know it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. People are ruthless out there today. They will do just about anything to bring others down because they, they don't have it in them to, to do what's right, to win. So they want to bring those that are almost winning down, or those that are winning down. We don't got to be with that. We don't got to do that. We don't got to put up with that. We don't got to listen to them. We don't got to do shit. Besides, just keep doing better. Keep pissing them off. Keep going. And keep growing. I'm out. <clears throat>